Okay, so it's been a while that people have been asking me to do a coaching series, and I've always liked that idea. Now, there are two reasons why I haven't. One is I don't upload enough. My schedule's pretty busy, but if I was a full-time YouTuber and I was able to upload every day, I would definitely do a coaching series. The other reason is because I am still plat, I don't feel comfortable enough giving you guys advice on the game when I have, I'm still struggling to get to Diamond, let alone Masters myself. I do have a lot of knowledge about the game, but execution is something else entirely. So I thought I'd do a bit of a compromise. Once in a while, I will self-analyze my own games. And in this process, I hope that in some way I can improve myself and maybe you guys too. So a bit of a disclaimer, uh, at this point, uh, in, in this match, uh, actually the comp is actually not too bad. We've got two supports, two tanks, and some crazy DPS from the Bastion with the Genji to help out. Uh, so before this, this was towards the end of a like three and a half hour to four hour stream. I was pretty tilted in this game. I had a string of losses, and one or two matches prior to this one, we were on Route 66, and I was running Ryan, and Sebnik, my buddy, was running Ana. It wasn't going that well. They weren't protecting Ana in the back line that much. I tried, but I was a Reinhardt. He's not much of a peeler. He's an initiator. So it didn't go that well. So I got a little frustrated, and he was forced to go to Mercy. And uh, I was like, yeah, I, I don't think these guys know how to deal with my Ryan. I started to get frustrated. I, this was after a string of losses, so I was already starting to tilt. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Let's just do Pharmacy. And as soon as I said that, the other guy that was talking on the team took Farah blatantly like just took fair from me and that was just it for me uh, I, at that point i was like oh really like that's how you're gonna be so i ended up going widowmaker <laughs> now um i was actually still trying to land good shots with widowmaker but i essentially was just throwing because i refused to give that guy a win for just doing that like we were a two-man group in a duo you want that duo to run pharmacy if they're good at it don't just take it because you're frustrated or whatever he was feeling so that was like the end for me so by the time this match came around uh i just went silent i do say a few key things in the match but overall i just was not talking because i knew that nothing productive was going to come out of my mouth so i rather just make sure that i'm playing as best as i can in this emotional state and uh, does not say much. So here to start. Um, so you're gonna notice here, Junkrat does put a trap in the front. And I actually do call that out with little talking that I have. Uh, and the Ryan was actually in the chat, but I guess he didn't hear me. So he, he gets caught out on this. Now I did hear the Junkrat off to, let's see if, how to do this. I did hear the junk rat around here. I heard his little footsteps and I thought like, okay, I told everyone junk rat's still here. We should collapse on him. So I thought, I actually thought he was going to be on the ground here. Um, but he wasn't. And I used my right boosters you, when, uh, and then Nick He's called him out above me. The Bastion finished him oh, off. Bastion got him. Um, I went up there still thinking junk rat was still alive. That was my mistake. I, I begin pretty good at, uh, watching the kill feed but i obviously have work to do because uh, i would have should have known instantly that you know uh bastion took him out so that's always something to improve now my goal here was actually i didn't have much of a goal i was so tilted that i just my brain was just so burnt out from just running the stream for that long and just being frustrated i didn't really have much of a plan i was just i just was blank i i it's like i it's like i unlearned overwatch in this match and uh, some other matches after this like i just unlearned it like I, I don't even know what i'm supposed to do right now i don't even know <laughs> so the best plan i came up with was like well i'm diva i'm mobile so i should let me see if i can get a pick like catch somebody out of position or get somebody low was it the best plan uh if i was in my normal state then maybe yes but uh, it's not always good to just 
do that as diva. You have to really pick and choose, right, to to flank as diva and or stay with your team. Uh, but that's kind of her role nowadays because of the amount of DPS she puts out. She can just flank and just pick somebody off that was out of position. So right here, I fire my rockets because I saw the soldier up there, and uh, just didn't want him to get like a, a helix rocket on the healers or whatever. So I just put some pressure there. But I thought like he's gonna still be there. I'm gonna single him out. But my mistake here was that I went in without my rockets. So yeah, I can survive a 1v1 with Soldier, but um, he was smart enough to know that he couldn't win that fight, so he ran away. I you probably could have killed him if I had the rockets nice. uh, on my, my cooldown. So I continue on to the point here instead of uh, going back to the team here. But they're actually pushing up really well uh, with the Rhine Shield here. So, in a sense, I was not technically helping the team, but they still did it without me. So, that's called the carry. So, let's continue here. Right. Oh, so right here, I knew we had a Genji, so I decided to just mash down the Torbjorn turret to make his job easier so he can get in there. Um, I probably could have... It probably would have been better to just take out Soldier, but I like to think, mind you, I'm not in the best state of mind during this match as I'm reflecting on it, um, but a Tank's main job is to make your DPS's job easier, and taking out the Torbjorn turret as fast as possible, um, that was just my way of thinking. I probably could have saved the rockets for, uh, for Soldier and just did normal DPS on the turret, but... I don't know, I just wanted to take it out as soon as possible. That was just my thought process. We're going around. So then I push on to the point oh, here, uh, instead of removing really my team behind oh, us, and I take okay, 1v1 we'll with this Torbjorn and lose my mech. And uh, I guess we're just going taken in out the... here. No, actually, no. Um, okay, so we got uh, Ryan over here. He's still pushing the side here. They, they went around this way. And they grouped up pretty well. Uh, I actually lost track of... Genji, but I don't think he went too far away from these guys, so yeah, I, I'm just, this first point, I just totally got carried. I, I had very little impact on this on this push. Coming. I, I, I helped oh, with Kill that McCree, so that's impact right there. So, don't forget that. Okay, nice push, <laughs> nice push. I'm also on console, so that's some Awesome tracking that you can do on console, PC PC guys. If you want to learn, <laughs> yeah. All right, what's it called? Okay, All so right. we get that pretty fast. Someone called out Soldier on the right, so I figured I'd um, uh, help out Harry. Uh, we we can combo here. if you uh, push on him. Yeah. All right, what's it and he called? almost gets away. He almost gets away, but I get a little tickle in there, and Genji actually finished nice. him off. Oh, that McCree is after me. Oh. The so I coming. hear the tire, so I know, and I and I got pretty good headsets. I know the Junkrat's to the left, but I didn't anticipate. Oh, it the went for me. Oh, and uh, yeah, I didn't but, set up uh, my Diva got... boosters to where like if you, you just press and hold the button and then let go when you're done. So I still have to melee to stop my boosters. So I'm still debating with myself whether I should do that or not because. Uh, uh, if I do do the press and hold method, try to fight it then that means I have to use two fingers on my left hand for the shoulder buttons instead of the one. It's a little uncomfortable, but it might just be something I need to get used to and just make the switch over. Oh, sorry, I wasn't there for the nano. It's fine, because either way I died. Alright, so right here, I didn't. Uh, the Ryan is down, he's about to respawn. Um, I didn't realize that it was just me and then Lucio's over here somewhere and I didn't pull back. I, I was so focused on getting my mech back that I just didn't pull back okay. and then back. I turned the corner there's three people there. So look how close I was to mech and I died anyways. I'm, I'm backing out of this. And I think the team's the already there, Reinhardt The Reinhardt people. is actually pretty aggressive here in this match so uh, basically, we have to regroup with him. So if he's in that fight and I'm not there, it's 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 my fault because I should have regrouped. Okay. All right. So I try to get an easy pick on this uh, McCree. I actually do get him. 
And then I can test the point because my thought process here was that my team is coming up the side here. That's terrible. Like behind me up on that ledge there. So I, I, I could have sworn... I, I thought they were right behind me and they were just going to drop on the point with me. So I actually can test oh. the Reaper here and I, instead of jumping right, away I jumped straight up because I thought they were uh, right behind me. But as you can see they're still working their way to that top ledge, they just got there. So uh, if I would have jumped onto the ledge with them to get away from the Reaper nice. then we could have uh, Winston's anti attacked them together. So that was just like, situational awareness on my part, oh, crap. lack of it. Ah, the... Okay, they're using up all so the now, um, right now. So now, as the match is going yeah. on, even Just though I'm still tilted, I'm slowly, little bitty, kind of getting out of it. But so DPS I'm like, okay, let's, let's regroup. So that's why I'm not pushing in. Oh, we uh, do. <laughs> second thought. <laughs> but that's why uh, I'm kind of regrouping here. Not really. Okay, uh, Winston, I thought uh, I got a little bit. But I do slowly get out of the tilt phase. I'm, I'm just oh, like man. not talking at all. I'm trying. Oh, sorry, Reinhardt. That's fine. That's fine. That's funny that was on me. Uh, the Ryan at this moment says that he has gold damage, and then he does a charge like that, and this just makes me feel like, well, that's probably why he just acting like a DPS, which I pretty much do. Uh, this whole game I'm too. Trying, I, I don't sorry, Ryan. That's more like a DPS that's than fine. a tank. That was on me. The ratio between tank and DPS, like some tanks, like because I do switch to uh, Zarya and Roadhog later on. Uh, th those off tanks have a DPS element, so there's a ratio there where your damage counts. Um, but when I was playing them, it was more like a 70 30 ratio, where 70% I was trying to be a DPS uh, and 30% uh, right out here. tank, which is, is just oh, not I, good. I can't do anything so I knew the Reaper was behind me, so I figured I'd take push the McCree back. <laughs> oh. So <laughs> I had my headphones in. I didn't realize how loud my birds are in the so background. I have four birds. Yeah. I just love birds. So they're like it's just totally screaming it up in the background here. So, so apologies for that. only good on payload. Mm -hmm. Just go through middle. Cut. Go straight through. Straight through. Straight through. They're all over here. All right. Uh... All right. So I initiate on the uh, McCree and. I think it was the junk rat there. Okay, no reaper that failed. So basically, this They're all initiation all right. was. Uh, I'm not thinking about my team. I'm thinking about my own elim. So even with Winston, I'm trying to be a DPS. Okay, that failed. It was just really awful, actually, uh, just because of this tilted the state I was in. Which, if this happens to you, this is exactly why we go on a losing streak and lose, you know, 200 SR in. in all right, I think the junk rides around in here one somewhere. night. You know. 300 SR in one night because of this. We just lose sight. We, we know all the rules, we know how the game's supposed to be played, but we just lose sight of those rules. Our execution needs to match our knowledge. I have nano. Uh, my Earth Shatter's at 80. So right now I'm just playing the poke game. Not too, wor do not not too worried about okay. elims at this moment, go. just trying to get some Let's push up. Uh, uh, charge on my graviton. Masterful tracking, guys. Get Take notes. Rat. I was actually surprised I lived through that. Um, but on point, it didn't look like my junk rat. died. Not feed the junk rat, guys. Nice. Okay. There we go. Yeah, he didn't die. So I don't know what happened where he didn't finish me off, but I got get totally on point, lucky get on there. Point, get on point. Now Nick sleeps the uh, junk rat here, but he didn't realize I was right behind him, so he woke him up too early. And then he gets killed. Sorry, Chip. He even apologized to me. He's 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 a nice kid. Even when I make a bunch of screw ups, right, he's, try to hold he'll on. still apologize. He's he, he works very hard at this game. And it's a shame he's in gold. Now right there, I was using bubble for oh, some some charge, right? Like a lot of Zarya's do that. Um, the two two issues with this was that one, I positioned myself in the middle of the point with no one around me, so I was pretty much asking to be taken out. On top of the fact that I could have avoided Diva Bomb, and if I was keeping track of ultimates, I would have. You know, said, oh, maybe there's going to be a dead eye, but I didn't even see him on my screen. The fact is, if if you can avoid an ultimate without using a bubble, you should. Otherwise, 
I could have used uh, it for that key moment. I, I still would have died anyways, because uh, we're, right? yeah. we're all down, right? We're all down. Maybe to the stairs. But I still didn't get anything out of that, because I got a nice charge off the um, self-destruct, okay. but like, I died immediately. Give me my best. Yo, what is that, dude? I kind of anticipated uh, someone was going to jump on um, Nick there. So that's why I bubbled him preemptively. Because he already um, okay. took him some hit right there, right? Give so, me my best. Yo, what is yeah, that, Yeah, and then right dude? there. <laughs> Junkrat jumps on him. But here I'm being I'm playing DPS again. I'm not playing tank, I'm playing DPS. And uh even if I wasn't tilted in this match, I All right, I'm I don't gonna use the nano and then I'm gonna change that much different. I, I think it would be a lot better. Three tanks I, I think it would be playing more of a tank role. Yeah, but it still would be somewhat similar. I still probably would chase a few of these kills. Dead. Even if I wasn't tilted. But because I'm tilted, I chase a lot of kills that I really should Like this one here. Oh, that soldier's up there on the bridge. Okay, I didn't. Kind of. Look, 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 I'm going back. What is wrong with me? I'm going back. Right. I got, like, half decent decision making there. And look, I'm, I'm focusing on the soldier. My entire team is going down the middle here. All right, let's do it. Zen's out of position as well, but, I mean, you got to worry about your own gameplay, right? So I thought he was going to go for, um, with the tire, I thought he was going to go for Nick here. Reaper taken down. out by the Reaper. Alright, let's do it. So I tried to bubble him uh, before the tire got to him, but not only did the tire not go to him, but I didn't notice that I still had three seconds left on my projected barrier. So I couldn't even protect him from the uh, Reaper. Reaper's after me. Uh, he did call out the Reaper. Try to focus uh, on I, was, I literally have one second left on projected barrier. That I, act, that I had used... If you remember, I had used the projected barrier outside on the steps where the Zen was, where he was out of position. Um, so it's just one of those things like hindsight's twenty twenty. Uh, Alright, so I almost have my Graviton. I, I actually get the health pack here. Right? I do get it, right? Ah, uh, they shut it down. I think I get the health pack here. Yeah, so look at that crazy uh, amount of ult charge I just gave the Junkrat and maybe D.Va a little bit. Yeah, one more to you go. You know, just because I was, like, trying to save myself. My ultimate is ready. All right, so we got right. one last push here. I actually get a pretty clutch uh, <laughs> Graviton. Um... I do hold it for a bit, but it's really oh, just did, about you, measuring the pressure the of the match. I haven't heard you. Uh, or measure of the here. fight to see if it's too much pressure. And just kind of let my team breathe by firing the oh, ground. on the right. That's kind of how I use it here. Now, I didn't realize uh, Nick was right next to me. And I Sorry. think I also didn't realize that my bubble was available for him. So I could have bubbled him and saved him from the junk rat, but it didn't happen. So we actually go in this fight without our mercy. But because the enemy team isn't a nice the best, uh, they don't capitalize on it that much. And Zen really actually comes to in to save him. me with that trans. Now he's coming out of trans, so I bubble him to protect him. A nice going but on second thought, when um, when I do I that, really the point I didn't take him. into account what yes. kind of threats were actually around him. It was like a demect diva. Right there. Junkrat did get one hit out there, and he ends up killing Zen actually. So I, maybe. Maybe it was a good bubble. Guys, they to save him at least a little bit. Yes. Just couldn't save him after that. So this is like really hardcore stalling right here, and um, this is when I, my mood starts to pick up a little bit because I realize I have such a high charge that I can do some real damage here. Nice. Yeah, I think it like registered late that I actually like the tire was taken out, and I was about to drop. Oh, junk rat. Yeah, they fight this point pretty hard, but we do end up taking it. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. Now, Sorry. I see D.Va right here. D.Va dives directly onto our back line, which I knew it was going to Come be. Come on, we can do this, mercy, we can do this. Right? She dived right on her, got her out of mech. I knew she was going to try and finish Nick off, because look how much health he has. So I knew even little D.Va's pistol will finish off that Mercy, especially because Nick isn't pulling out his pistol to fight her back or trying to dodge. He's kind of not fully aware that D.Va's out to get him. He's trying to get 
our diva back to full. So I just take it upon myself to, to show them and then finish off a little diva before she, she's just got she's We're got it out for the mercy, which is technically the right thing to do. But she didn't she did it by herself. She didn't have the support of her team to do that. Oh, he deflected right, right back at him. That's hilarious. Yeah, I think Genji deflected the dead. Mercy still on point. Take notes, guys. Masterful. Sorry, a trap from point. Here. So here's 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 a pretty good example. Mercy so what I'm trying to teach myself point. here is keeping track of um, enemy abilities, not just their ultimates, but enemy abilities. That like that I know that that kind of skill is gonna take me to the next rank if I start if I begin to master that. So I fire this graviton after we take out the Hanzo here. I fire Keep the graviton. Point. Re that's Reaper and Soldier. So getting two picks from a Graviton is actually pretty decent as long as they're the right targets and everyone, you know, they, they still go down. It's not bad. Like, if you're going to be looking for those, you know, five-man, six-man Gravitons all the time, you're never going to fire Graviton, and you could have fired three Gravitons while you're still holding on to that one. So I'm not stingy with my Gravitons. I, I use them if the, even if there's just two people. But... I didn't take into account that one of those targets was Reaper, and he straight up just rates forms out Reaper of there. behind you guys. So, luckily he didn't have Dead Eye, but uh, on point. They're just trickling now. You know, I could just could have got more value if I just said like, "Hey, you know, just hold on, Graviton. I would only get the Soldier anyway, so just let it go. Just focus the Reaper." Um, but I mean, he still nice. technically wasted Wraith form if you want to look at it that way. But it still wasn't right, good that job. ideal. Technically, I only caught one target in Graviton and made the other one waste uh, an, uh, an ability. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I, I run Zarya again here since I thought I did fairly well on the attack. Um, I, again, my mood is still tilted. I'm still not talking, but I'm a tiny bit in a better mood. I'm just exhausted at this point. Not just tilted, but exhausted. Just tired. You know, and I should have stopped playing, but I'm a very stubborn, persistent person. And there's a Junkrat spamming in here. He almost got me a couple times. Alright, so I have no barriers or bubbles yeah. up here. Uh, Don't even have mine yet. There's a Genji behind. So I, pull, I pull back a little too late, but I pu do pull back in time. You can hear Nick call out the Genji right here, but I actually turn and realize a second before he calls it out. And I start immediately, especially because I saw the anti heal, I immediately Mercy start on careful. the Genji. Not that anti heal would make a difference, but like it signaled to me that Nick was attacking Genji and Genji was potentially attacking uh, Nick. Uh, I just uh, didn't uh, register in my sights just yet. There's a Genji behind. So I did it. a bubble just in case Genji was able to follow up on that kill right, on Nick. Coming, Diva, I'm coming. And oh, I head back. Crap. Now, right here, um, of course I didn't realize it because I'm still average with my uh, ability to read the kill fee. But Diva is out of her mech, and I just used my own personal barrier. There's nothing stopping them from pushing us right now. And right, they, there's a May. And oh. It works. Can you res her? Now Nick actually asked the Mercy to res me right here. This, this guy, he's actually, uh, I think he might be a Ryan main or something. So he's not the greatest Mercy. He, he does some weird stuff with his positioning later on. And I don't know if he has res at this point or not, because I wasn't watching the kill feed. Even during this uh, re reflection here, I didn't watch the kill feed to see if he used it. But I, I think okay, he we are kind of has it, here. and he just didn't use it on me. Uh, I could be wrong. Right, I'm go, going back to the you guys plane. go back and watch to see if he used res already. Okay, that's not a good idea. Running, but uh, usually I do contest these points because at low ranks it's like you can get away with a lot of trickling. Surprisingly, like you're not as punished in low ranks for trickling in than uh, than at higher ranks. Where was everybody? It's like they they all went like to the to the right or something. And sorry, I'm. Oh, so yeah, here's a, here's a good example of the the mercy. Uh, Mercy, be careful. Really weird with yourself. their positioning. Nick actually oh, warned man, her, like, you just be careful Genji when you're up know. there. Because she's backing up Genji right now. Zarya on point. And she didn't really need to do that. So Zarya comes in solo, heads straight for Nick. Nick 
bum like he runs rushes right up to her i'm not sh sure exactly why but i think he was trying to land a sleep dart or maybe his nade or something after the yeah he did throw the nade and i actually body block for him sorry on point that's one of that's one thing i do like about my zarya is that i do body block with my barrier i wish more zaryas would do that <laughs> A junk right on right. I'll also tell Nick uh, to watch his positioning on the Ana. She has no mobility. You don't want to be in the middle of the point. Like the All right. You know, just be off in the corner and just snipe the shots, or up on the high ground if you're if he's able to do that. My ultimate's ready. Yeah, junk rat fell for it. I thought he wasn't going to. It didn't look like he was gonna go into for a second, but he did fall for it. And he some charge. And I quickly melt the Genji there. And my ult fire is so good, guys. Finished off that mercy. My ultimate is almost ready. <clears throat> so I am getting in a, a slightly better mood at this point. And I almost had the Graviton. I communicated to the team. But one thing that I'm... I'm okay at, and if I'm in a good mood, I'm better at it, but because I was tilted, I, I, I didn't do this at all, but, and that is uh, keeping track of enemy ultimates. So during these downtimes in between fights like that, you, you really should be taking the time to think about who has what and what can Wait, you do, uh, how can you protect the team. So right here, um, again, I was trying to act DPS on the right side, I wasn't with the team. Um, Neither was D.Va, apparently. But that's also, like, the Mercy's fault as well, because she keeps going up there by herself without tank support or anything. But, I mean, she has the mobility. If she if she's good enough to get back and away from trouble, she can do that, I guess. But this, this guy, he's not a Mercy main, so he kept screwing himself up a little bit. Yikes. Oh, no. I tried to do what I could, okay, but I already used my gonna try barrier. To survive this. So. Yeah, Nick knows we're not going to survive right, this. Up. I have no bubble, so I'm just, I kind of just went blank there. I'm like, I, I have no barrier, everyone's dead, I hear tire coming in, I don't have a mobility to get out of there, uh, but I also think like I have to contest the point, but I don't have enough health, so I'm going to die from the tire. Like, I just went blank and I just accepted my fate. Oh, no. But I do get rezzed, and still looking for that key grab. Which looks like it's right here. And, oh, uh, I got the Ana trophy. Wow, did Mercy? <laughs> did their Mercy mean Bastion slept? Wild Graviton. Oh, that's one, and that's two. <laughs> she rests on one Wild. Oh, Graviton. I got the Ana trophy. So we actually <laughs> used a ton of ults. This is something else that um, well, in the middle of a fight, it's really hard to keep track of something like that. But we both we used both the Dragon Blade and the Soldier Visor. Okay, there is with uh, the Graviton. Genji. So that's Nan Nano really boost and damage boost on a that. Genji is it's amazing. Really <laughs> this guy talks about, about how Genji's Nano combined with away. the Mercy yeah, buff is stack. awesome. But I told him like it, it doesn't stack. They don't. And he's like, they what? Don't. They don't? That's like, no. that's dumb. I know Blizzard specifically said the uh, Risa ultimate in Mercies doesn't stack, but uh, I'm pretty sure they did an overall 50% cap on every type of buff you can imagine in the game, not just specifically those two. But correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure that that's how it is. They did an overall damage cap. So here I am trying to beat DPS again. And where's my team? In the top left. Total opposite from where I am, right? Like, what am I doing in this position? Junkrat slept. Oh, I didn't even have enough charge to finish him off oh, like that. So. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a Reinhardt up top. He is shooting. Oh, yeah. So I do realize the Rhine and the and uh, I think I'm halfway up the stairs before I hear the uh, Bastion firing. And I'm like, oh, oh crap, nice. like, uh, what are we gonna do here? Oh, there's a Reinhardt up top. I figured, he like, we'll just contest here. No! Oh! Tried to be oh. sneaky, but we couldn't. And no! I'm, I'm pretty get sure on it, get on it, get on it. try and sleep the Bastion. 
but I think it falls apart here. Yeah, that's that. I'm gonna take care of the Bastion. I try to focus the, the Genji, but everyone's dead. It's like, even if I kill him. Uh, I miss the sleep dart. I'm not sure what else I could have done. Except get good. So yeah, they they they, they snowballed us yeah, definitely there. Yeah, with the help of Bastion. I think he was still on the high ground. No, no, he did drop down. And he had anti-heals too, like he could have I mean if we had more bodies, we yeah, done something. Yikes. Look at this. That's you. And now we're at the last you? round where I decided to pick Roadhog because I'm actually not a good Roadhog. I've only been practicing him recently. I've always been a pretty below average Roadhog. But I decided to focus on him because um, he still has a lot of carry potential even after his damage nerf and survivability buff. He still has a lot of carry potential. And as I improve with him, I realize how good he is at protecting supports. Uh, Zarya can do that too, um, but just, just, just Roadhog setup I feel like he's better at it. So that's why I decided to, to, to run him on this defense, right. just in just case they are rushing sure our supports. Make sure if they try to flank us, um, we know like a But I don't exit. necessarily play him that way. I play him kind of like the old Roadhog. I decided to go off on a flank here, just to try and see if I can get a pick on a, on a key target here. And uh, I actually don't yeah, land this hook. I'm, I'm, I'm so bad. I only recently Careful. learned that his yes. hook is pretty much a delayed hit scan. Genji's coming close. So I, I just missed that hook. So I'm, I try to regroup my team here. Junkrat's coming around the, um, the right. Be careful for him. And Nick's making all these callouts. So he's doing a good job there. It's a shame he's in gold. So yeah, definitely go for this nice. pick. That's exactly what I was looking for. But they pretty much cleaned up without the Mercy's help. So, <laughs> like, I almost all right, I'll try to wish I could have just let her live just to get a, a res that she could waste, and then like we could just get more ult charge on whatever she rezzed. Because that fight there. was already over by the time I finally got that pick. So I'm actually contesting the choke here, knowing that my team is on the point, but I was just trying to be cheeky. I don't, I'm not sure why. Why is, I wish we, Reaper wouldn't be out there by himself. Genji's coming around the right. So he calls out the Genji on the right. I decided to check it out. Cause I, as I'm going through this match, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but then I go down to my tilted mood again. So I'm like back and forth in how good of a mood I am in. And that almost directly correlates with how much I'm being a tank versus a DPS. But mostly I'm still playing DPS. So I couldn't find the Genji. He's, he, I actually realize um, as I'm coming around here, Genji goes through there. You see him, right? But he actually goes out into the right, and I thought he went to the left. Um, but at that point, I was just like, well, I, I can't chase Deep him on point. this point. So I'm just going to head back to the point here and help out. Missed the hook there. <laughs> That's unfortunate. They're all coming. They're all coming around here. Around the back. Okay. Uh, we pretty much had her. Somewhere, but... too. Was, oh, man. I'm still working me. on my uh, mid-range stuff, mid-range shot here. So oh. right here, I know we got some picks like the Mercy and whatnot. So I know they don't have much backing them up. So I'm looking for that Reinhardt to slip up and make oh, a mistake on his Bastion. Now. And he so does. Let's not make any Got, a, got the hook, risks. two shot at the Bastion, boom, that's it. All right, we're going to need you. And then I two shot the uh right right. here. Now... One of my biggest weaknesses uh, before, it's it's still improving now, but one of my biggest weaknesses with uh, Roadhog was that I was so horrible with uh, hitting shots with someone that's right on top of me doing circles around me. So being able to f flick around and land the headshot was just so bad. I, I Like before, I could not get any kills unless it was hooked before. <laughs> So I'm getting a little better at landing those Reaper, types of shots here. <laughs> now this is unfortunate. I'm not a pro Roadhog. A pro Roadhog would have okay. definitely compensated for the lack of the hook putting him in front of me like that and just adjusted, but I'm not good. So All right, 48 that was seconds. just unfortunate he got away. I mean, from me, he didn't get away from Reaper. So we got 40 seconds left. I almost have my ult here. And uh, we're holding pretty well. I'm what they have like full three minutes, That's, uh, and they made damage no, percent. they didn't really do much to us. Uh, but of course, let's change all that. that, right? So I got the Ryan low. I decided to push right him off, make his job harder. If I didn't, even if I didn't kill him, 
Now, uh, I'm starting to see like where I went wrong here. I see the Mercy and I'm like, great, good time to test my Roadhog hook skills, right? Great time. Um, not only do I miss start, the first hook, like, but I, I go in for a this. second one. Because look at this, I tried to dodge the bomb. Um, I'm like, yeah, if I could just get Mercy, okay. this will end uh, this fight. Got me. But I, I don't get her. She's just so hard to kill in Valkyrie. I think they uh, and I could have, just right there, for example, the Bastion just sitting off on the point like that. If I would have just turned around and worried about protecting my team or hooking something that's very dangerous, attacking my team like Bastion, we could have held it. But I was just in this tilted state. I wasn't, and I wasn't thinking like a tank at all. Uh, even <laughs> as funny as it is to say that, yeah, that Roadhog. But I wasn't attempt. thinking about the team. I was yeah. thinking about my own key picks. Like, yeah, get rid of the Mercy. Because even I get this mindset of like, if you just take care of the Mercy, everything will be fine. And that's a clear sign, especially she was in Valkyrie form. That was a clear sign that that's not always the case. It's not always oh. the case. Most of the time, oh, it's the case, but not great. always. Yeah. See, so you got to play the game, but like we used so many ults there. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is the first time I've done a video like this. So let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed it, please let me know if you'd like to see more. Um, again, it's the first time, so I, uh, it's gonna take some time for me to get into like a comfort in in this. So yeah, if you enjoyed, please share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.